What up, everybody? World of Matchups is back in the house doing what we do. The schedule broke, finally, after a bazillion and one leaks. First of all, these leaks are so stupid, Spencer. I mean, just drop the schedule already, you know what I mean? But the, the schedule finally broke. Today, we're going to break down the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs schedule for 2023. Literally, I had the schedule at about 2 o'clock PST between all the people that I know in KC and the people that I follow. I know Steve Walls dropped it, and he's pretty reputable. So by the time it dropped at 5 o'clock, I kind of already knew who was doing Mm -hmm. what. After looking at this schedule, I think the Chiefs are going to win at least 13 or 14 games again. I feel like last year's schedule is a lot harder than this year's schedule, but it is what it is. It's a murderer's row of quarterbacks when you look at Kansas City. And the problem that I have with this schedule that makes it so difficult is that it's a murderer's row of quarterbacks, and they have them in a seven-week period. I mean, if you want to still consider Russell Wilson a a top-tier QB, you know, maybe, maybe not. But at the end of the year – At the end of the day, excuse me, they've got six primetime games. There's going to be seven times this year where the Chiefs are going to be the only game on TV. Patrick Mahomes is basically a football god, and it's must-see television. Everybody wants to see him. Last year, the schedule makers didn't do the Chiefs any favors either, and they won however many games. You know what I mean? 14 games. Everybody was so concerned about how hard the schedule was. And they tore it up. And I think they're going to tear it up again. I do think even though there were some key losses on the Kansas City Chiefs, I still think they got better with the additions of guys like Omenahue. I like what Rasheed Rice is going to do. I don't think Juju Smith-Schuster is a huge loss at all. And at the end of the day, when you have Patrick Mahomes, you can win pretty much with anyone out there. And so I like what the Kansas City Chiefs have done here. Their schedule is not that daunting to me because I'm the kind of fan that likes to play hard competition every week. I don't want a whole bunch of freebies, because what you saw last year is that week after week after week, the Kansas City Chiefs, they played top-tier competition throughout the year, throughout the playoffs, and then when it was come time to play the Super Bowl, like they're already used to having to play top-tier competition all year long. And then you saw a team like the Eagles – who didn't play top-tier competition, have to rise to the occasion. And that's a game they could have won in the Super Bowl, but they just did not. And I'm not a fan of, like, bye weeks, bum games. I mean, I know that they get the Lions opening day, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I think America would have been more interested in seeing, like, the Bengals come to KC. You know, there's a whole lot of smoke happening there. You can't put the Eagles there opening day, but there would have just been a lot better choices. I think the Lions hype is a bit much. I think it kind of peaked last year. I think they had not a great draft, but it looks like the NFL wants to give the Chiefs a cookie opening day. But, you know, then you go to Jacksonville, you got Aaron Rodgers in there, then you got a couple games versus Russell Wilson. I mean, they're they're playing tough quarterbacks. You know, Josh Allen, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And so – At the end of the day, until someone knocks this team off, they're going to be my pick to go at least win the AFC West at worst, at the bare minimum to win the West. I say they go deep in the playoffs again. I don't know if they'll go back to the Super Bowl with this schedule. It's really going to depend on what kind of defense they have. But at the end of the day, with Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Brett Veach, this is what you're going to get in Kansas City no matter what the schedule is, and I don't think that it's that tough. I see a lot of fans freaking out about how hard it is. One thing that you and I always agree upon, Spencer, is that the strength of schedule is kind of overrated. It's kind of like the NFL Combine. You can't go based off what happened last year because the NFL changes from year to year. So those numbers to me don't matter. A team that was great last year is going to be horrible this year. A team that was horrible last year is going to be great this year. You just play the guys that are in front of you. I'm more concerned with the level of coaching and the quality of quarterbacks that I play on this schedule. But at the end of the day, if I have to pick a number, I say the Chiefs are going to go 13 or 4. Your thoughts? Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I'd actually like to go game by game with you, and you can just tell me quickly, you know, kind of what your thoughts are. Mm -hmm. So – um, I'll tell you my opinion too. So, like week one against the Lions, they're gonna roll the Lions thirty-one thirteen. 
this deep feeling that the Lions, it's just going to fall apart this year. It, it's something about it seems so wrong. Like to see them celebrate so hard for this quarter, for this running back that should have yeah. never been taken there. Like the optics draft. of it. Yeah. The optics of it just don't feel good to me. Um, you know, they just kind of reached a little bit. I don't, and the draft, I guess, isn't everything, right? Like rookies rarely make big impacts, but I just feel like they were focused on the wrong things and mm -hmm. that they just went in the wrong direction. And then now there's expectations with the Lions have like, oh, I don't know, never had, you know what I mean? There's something wrong about it, and they didn't really address defense too, too much. Um, they care. They could have had Christian Gonzalez out there. They could have had Jalen Carter. I mean, you're going to be asking oh, yeah, Jack Campbell to – you know, in his rookie debut under the lights in Arrowhead Stadium to go over the middle versus Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I, mean, just... I mean, let's let's just think about that for a second. You know what I mean? How's that going to end up? I can't see a world where Kansas City loses this game. I know the Lions hype train is is great, but that's that's zero and one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel the same way. Week two is interesting. You know, they go to Jacksonville, played a pretty decent playoff game mm -hmm. when it was all said and done. The ending was like really, you know, anticlimactic. But I would imagine they like feel like they got better. They beefed up their offensive line. They're a team that feels like they improved from last year. Yeah. Maybe not significantly, but I think that another year in the same system, we always get so hyper focused on the new additions. We forget that you know, yeah. when you bring these guys back. It's also like really, really good for the team to see consistency. Maybe almost even better than like getting a slew of like free agents who don't know the system. It so they, they surprise did surprise me. That yeah, they did the right things in the draft, but I don't think they're going to win this game. But I do think that Jacksonville is going to be a really tough out on a weekly mm -hmm. basis now. Yes, absolutely, I agree with you. This year's uh, team that I'm watching with a level of enthusiasm, as much as I love my own team, is the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think that when you think about the steps that they took last year and how they were down four scores in a playoff game at home and won that game. I mean, it was just bad luck that they had to play Kansas City in that, you know, that next round because, like, they probably would have beaten anyone else. And I'm a Trevor Lawrence truther. I am, man. Trevor Lawrence is going to take a huge step forward. Year two with Doug Peterson, Super Bowl winning coach. They got good players all over the place. It wouldn't surprise me to see the Chiefs lose this game, but they go to J Jacksonville and win quite a bit. And so I'm going to give them this win, but I don't think it will be as easy as as a lot of people think. Yeah, that'd be really interesting. I can't, I really, that's, it's going to, I think it's an underrated game. I don't think it's a mm -hmm. primetime game. It's not but prime I think it's, time. But it'll be, uh, it's, oh, it's a noon game. So yeah. yeah, that'll be, it'll be one of the best games, uh, you know, that afternoon for sure. I mean, yeah, Trevor Lawrence and Patrick game. Mahomes could be a thing here. It could yeah. be. If if, if, yeah. if, if, if Jacksonville gets this game, this is not going to be an easy game, Chiefs fans. I'm telling you guys right now, if you think they're going to just walk this team, guys, you don't know what you're talking about. Is that they have good quality players all over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, so rolling in, I say they're two and zero right now. They, they're rolling into Week Three, Chicago. I, I'm not, I don't know. I can't say. I can't really tell you why, but I just don't. <clears throat> like Chicago's been going in the right direction. I just don't think it's going to show up on the football field yet. If they are making the right decisions, I don't know. I mean, Chicago can't built, score enough points. It was, it was like a, I don't know, some sort of like Madden team where you have like all this cap space. It's just like almost like a too hard of a position to be in. There's just mm -hmm. too much margin for error when you have that much real estate to work with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I don't know if it's going to show up. I don't know if Justin Fields is going to make this huge leap like everybody seems to think. I'm not exactly convinced on that front yet. Uh, I think this could be a really ugly game for Chicago. Yeah, they get they just can't score enough points. Now, again, are the Chicago Bears going to take that Herculean jump kind of like the Detroit Lions did last year? I'm not so sure. I think they kind of screwed up their draft a little bit as well. I do think Justin Fields is very good, but they're going to have to score points to beat Kansas City. Folks, let me tell you, the Kansas City Chiefs, <clears throat> their home field is turning back into that 90s mystique home field where literally they go 8-0. And I'm going to call it right now, <clears throat> excuse me, based on what I'm seeing, I think the Chiefs are going undefeated at home this year. I know they have some tough games, you know, but the Chiefs play hard at home and they're just getting better. The defense is just getting better. It's the loudest stadium in, in the entire NFL. And when you have all these things combined with Patrick Mahomes, it's very hard to beat this team at home. And I think they're going to run the table at home this year. This is going to be a loss for the Chicago Bears. Chiefs are going in this sure. three and zero. All right, let's jump over. This is great. This is Sunday night football against the Jets. Of course, the Jets I think have 
five primetime games. I, I don't remember mm-hmm. the exact number. They have a lot, mm-hmm. of course, right? Aaron Rodgers is there. Mm-hmm. Should be exciting. Is This is a home game? <clears throat> this, is, this is a road game for Kansas City. They go back, oh, They go to MetLife Stadium. <clears throat> wow, that's a tough one. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I mean, I'm, giving, I'm giving Kansas City an L here for a lot of different reasons. And – the the most the most obvious reason for me is that the the jet defense is really really good. Now the Chiefs do play better on the road, but I'm from New York. I've been to tons of jet games. I just kind of know how when you have a team like this that is on the rise that feels like they were one player away, and then the one player away you get is Aaron Rodgers, albeit an aging Aaron Rodgers. This kind of matters. This is going to galvanize them, especially if they come into this game undefeated or two and one, you know, under the lights, you know, the NFL is making sure they showcase and squeeze every bit of juice out of Aaron Rodgers if they, as they possibly can. It's not going to be the easiest game for the chiefs to win. Now it's going to have to depend on the health of the jets. You know, are they going to get their star running back back? What's that going to look like? It's going to be tricky. I, the chiefs can't win every game. Can they? I don't know. I'm more of a realistic Kansas City Chief fan. I could see a world where they lose this game on a game-winning field goal by, by field goal by the New York Jets. I'm going to give them an L here. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be an electric game. Like it's definitely going to be one of the best games of the early part of the season. It's the first time Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers have ever faced each other, and so that's another un, un, you know underrated stat. I think that Aaron, Aaron Rodgers does not want to lose to Patrick Mahomes on his way out the door. No, there's something. Yeah, a lot of these guys have a lot of pride, and they just they want He's to gonna go gonna play hard, man. Yeah. Look, this thing with the Jets is either going to go one of two ways. It's going to be really, really good or really, really bad. I can see yeah. Brett Favre 2.0 all over again, but this is a game where I just see, you know, the Jets win these kind of games in their building versus the Cowboys versus superior talent. They find a way to get these kind of wins. Go back and look at the last teams that they've played in their building over 500. They get these wins, you know, and you just can't play great every week. So, and I don't think the chiefs, I don't think anyone is good and is good enough to go undefeated anymore. I think the NFL is just too good. I I think it's too good, man. Smarter. Yeah. The jets have made good moves. They got good talent. The jets, this is not your same old jets. This is an L. Yeah. Uh, let's go over to the Vikings. Oh, wow. I mean, you want to talk about <laughs> like a team that has just put more firepower. Instead of like quelling the fire of how bad their defense is, they said, what if we scored just a little bit more? You know, bet, that's bet the kinda... over in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's probably the best way the to describe over. this. <laughs> yeah, bet the it can't, over. It can't be set high enough. Yeah, this is a game where all the stars shine. You know, Mahomes, Kelsey, they all go off. Justin Jefferson eats like Thanksgiving. I mean, this is going to be that game. This is going to be that game. (laughs) You know, they're in a dome now in Minnesota. (laughs) It's not going to be that cold yet. The stars are going to align and the the over is hitting. I'm calling that right now. I just don't think think that uh, Minnesota has a firepower to stay with Kansas City long, a a full four-quarter game. And so the Chiefs will win this room game they'll they'll win it by three to five points i just don't trust kirk cousins anywhere yeah and then that's going to be the difference maker i'm telling you folks the chiefs defense will be better they'll be a lot better the addition of felix is huge now you got him on one side you got carl loftus on the other side chris jones in the middle you know there's rumors that they're getting frank clark back i mean this is a good defense they're not a great defense but they're very opportunistic and what better defense to play a guy like Kirk Cousins. When Kirk Cousins sees a, a, a defender's jersey from the other team, he just folds, man. He just folds for superior competition. So I'm taking the Chiefs here to win a close one. Yeah, I agree with you, but It's going to be a fun game to watch, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, that'll definitely be fun. Amazon Prime Thursday Night Football is uh, up next year. <laughs> it feels weird to say that still. Um I think Amazon Prime went okay last year. It definitely felt weird. And Some of the matchups are night. weird. Yeah, they were just bad games last year. Bad I, games. I, I think the functionality of it worked fine. It's always weird because the reality is you have to switch between that and like television if you're watching something else, and that's the hard part of it. it to switch between Amazon Prime and like cable television—that's the real issue with it. 
But then he makes the Broncos. It's hard to say. I can't really judge this game because we don't know what kind of Broncos you're going to see this year. Will they stink no. again? I think there's a chance they could. But, you know, the Sean Payton thing kind of just throws a wrench into the whole situation. Yeah. Russell with another year under his belt, you know, maybe take the office out of, you know, the equation and make him like a regular part of the team. And <laughs> yeah. they, they hyped him up a bit too much. Now, Russell is 34, man, you know. But he's a seasoned veteran with a ring and, and had an opportunity to get another one. I mean, he's not a bum. He's just older now. The problem that I have with the Broncos is, again, can this team score? Because we know their defense is going to be solid. But in order to beat Kansas City anywhere, you have to score points. And to date, this team has not beaten the Chiefs since President Obama was in office. I mean, the iPhone 4 came out when the, the, this team last beat Kansas City. Now that streak has to end at some point, but I don't see it ending here. I see I, – I mean, if it ends, it's not going to be in Arrowhead. And so I'm – again, I'm taking the Chiefs here. The Chiefs own the Broncos. They just find ways to win these games. They're, they're, they don't cover these games. But I don't care about a point spread unless I'm gambling. I want to see W's at the end of the day. And I know for a fact that this Bronco team cannot score points. Javante Williams is still out. He could probably not even be playing in this game. No no one knows where he's going to be. I mean, I do trust their wide receivers. They're a solid football team on defense all over the place. But Andy Reid has this team's number, man. Something fierce. And I think it continues here. I'm looking at the Chiefs with one win. I mean, one loss to this point still. Yeah, uh, just to uh, – because I was like, you, you're talking about how the, the Broncos haven't beaten the Chiefs in a long time. I'm thinking, when's the last time they had a good win against the AFC West? Dude, you weren't time? shaving yet. Think Dude, about uh, that. I'm that was, this is a long time, man. Only victories are against in the past <clears throat> three years. So going back to 2020, three wins in the AFC West, all three. against the Chargers. Because the Raiders have the Raiders them. own them. The Chiefs have I mean, it's for a long bad. time. It's bad. It's, now, coaching matters. Yeah, coaching matters. Awesome. But Sean Payton will have to be – you know, prime Bill Belichick to win this game. The Chiefs, <laughs> it, look, it's not going to happen. Kansas unless City Chiefs, unless they, talk they just about, come out unbelievable. Not even then. Because the Chiefs talk about how big Raider Week is, and Raider Week is it's everything, you know, but it's underrated. Broncos Week is big too, man. I don't like losing to them. I remember 2011 through 2015, I just couldn't stand the Broncos because we would get <laughs> smashed, you know, even way back to like the Terrell Davis days. Yeah. Clinton Portis ran all over us. I don't forget that stuff, man. That stuff stings, man. So I'm enjoying every second of this. And until the Broncos beat us, I'm talking so much garbage until it hurts. And I think it continues here. I really do. I think so, too. That would be be a shocking loss. That would be a shocking loss for me. Oh, wow. A three-week streak coming up here for the Chiefs. Chargers are next. Mm Mm-hmm. You have to think the Chargers break through at some point. You know what I mean? I just think they're going to be a lot better this year. This is a tricky one. Yeah, this is a tricky one. Um, I'm going to flip a coin here because the Chargers did beat Kansas City in Kansas City two years ago on some BS. I do think the Chiefs will still win this game, but I think they'll win it by maybe a point or two. I think the Chargers will be better. The addition of Quentin Johnson gives them another big body, albeit it's kind of the same guy as Mike Williams, you know, but we'll see. At some point, Brandon Staley's head has to be on the chopping block because his coaching style is absolutely anemic. It's just so putrid. He costs them games year in and year out. But the AFC West is a fight every week. You know this. I think the Chiefs do win this game. I mean, I, I, I'm going to stand on this hill alone, man. The Chiefs aren't losing at home this year. Period. And they so, get some good odds on that. So if you, at home. yeah, they're, 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 this is just what they do. I'm telling you, the Arab head mystique is coming back. You saw it last year. We only lost a couple games at home. I think this year we can run the table because I do think the Chiefs will be better. They're a seasoned veteran team that can score from any blade of grass on the field with a great head coach, great football acumen quarterback that can do it all. I'm not. I know the caliber of competition we're playing is great. It don't matter to me. At the end of the day, unless Patrick Mahomes is injured, this team can go undefeated at home. And so I'm taking them here again. All right. And then the Broncos, pretty much the same deal here. Like, you don't really know where they're at. This yeah. is kind of, it's kind of interesting to play the same, you know, your opponent twice in the three-week span. This is where so, you can get clipped. 
This is where you can get clipped. If the streak is going to end versus the Broncos, it's going to be here. I was thinking about going to this game, and then I thought better of it. I, I just don't know. This every year is one of the toughest games Kansas City has to play. <laughs> yeah, They always pull away late, but the Broncos are always in this game in their building. I'm still going to say that they – keep that streak alive and win this game. Literally, all these games are going to be close with Kansas City this year. You guys want to make some money? Take these dogs with the points because the Chiefs don't cover anywhere. The Chiefs cover yeah. and when it counts. The Chiefs cover in the playoffs, but they don't cover in the regular season. I would take the Broncos in the points here. They'll probably be getting five and a half at home, but I do think Kansas City will just be too much for them. Patrick Mahomes has never lost an AFC West game on the road. Let that sink in, folks. Never. Dude, he's been in the he's been in the league for five, six years. Like, how is this possible? But I just don't think the level of competition is there. I mean, Sean Payton could be great or he could be horrible. If he's great, Chiefs will have to squeak one out. If he's horrible, they're going to win this game by three touchdowns. It's just what they do. Key will be defenses on both sides. I think the Chiefs still take it just because they can outscore them. Yeah, it's a, you just gotta wait for the shoe to drop. Like you know, it's gonna come eventually. It's been three years since they've had a quality victory again. I mean, the Chargers are what they are. Like the Chargers, Charger. You know, like nobody, do. nobody anywhere on earth hates the Kansas City Chiefs more than the Denver Broncos. Nobody. It's, they. It's gonna. Happen this is eventually. their Super Bowl. This is their Super Bowl. It wouldn't surprise me if it happened here because this is the spot for it to happen. It won't happen in Arrowhead, but it'll happen in Mile High. It'll I can happen see it in happening. Vesco. It they're, they're, could. They're, these fans are going to be invested in this team early on. They're going to sure, be so fired up, dude. They're going to be ready to mob. Anyhow, this game is close with them having a chance to win it. I mean, it'll be like when Rome fell. Like, they are tired of losing to the Chiefs. Like, yeah. literally, bro. You weren't shaving the last time they beat us. And it's I, I been think, that long, yeah. bro. It's been I think that this would have been a better Thursday night football slot. So I think this yeah. game would be a lot closer. Well, AFC West is a dog fight every week, but I, I just I just think we're gonna find a way to beat the Broncos twice again. I don't think this is the year it ends. I could be wrong. I thought if it was gonna end, it was gonna be last year. And that the both were hard fought games, and the Chiefs still won those games. And I think the Chiefs are better. They're younger, the defense is gonna be better. I'm not taking Denver anywhere versus Kansas City. Not yet. I got to see what Sean Payton does with Russell Wilson first. Oh, yeah, for sure. Next is the international game. And this is surprising. I think this is one of the first real international games, I think, in the NFL ever. They throw the most garbage all, you know, overseas, like just bad games between two bad teams. And now not anymore. They're investing. Fine, like they have really to. investing into this international thing. Yeah, I think they. Oh, I think they do. I think they, they have, have to. to. You, you, you just there. can't keep sending the Lions over there. Yeah, you, the you, Falcons. The Falcons. The Jaguars. No well, the Jaguars cares. are good now, but before, you know, yeah, they're terrible. No, no one cares. You can't send the Panthers over there anymore. No one cares, man. Roger Goodell mm-hmm. is trying to build a brand, and in order to do so, you have to give them something. And so we're going to give you Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill, which. I wasn't really happy about. I think the Chiefs losing this home game, that kind of sucks, especially with all the crap that Tyreek's been talking. You know, the NFL saved Tyreek Hill. I mean, Arrowhead Stadium, Kansas City, we want that smoke. You know, I think Tyreek Hill is just mad because he left and we won a Super Bowl without him. Now he had a great year and all that, but, like, dude, you can have a great year in $30 Uh, You could have had $23 and another ring and some legacy. So this is going to be an interesting game. I don't think it will be as good. I don't think there'll be as much hype. I mean, it's going to be in freaking Germany, man. Like, who cares? I'm one of these people that think football is America's game and should be played in America. I'm not a big fan of all these overseas games at all. I get what they're trying to do, but at the end of the day, the NFL is a business. It's about money and money only. And so they're sending the Chiefs over there, not only this year, but they're sending them over there next year too, which I'm not a fan of at all. I do think on a neutral field, the Chiefs are just better than Miami. I don't care if Tyree Hill goes off. I care about W's. I don't think two is any good. You you know how I feel about him. We're not going to get into him anymore. I think the Chiefs win this game no less than a touchdown. 
Yeah, the one thing I will say as a fan, as a football fan that I appreciate, because I'm not a fan of the Chiefs, but one thing I like about this game is that it's at 8.30. One of the biggest problems, because th- this is, is America's game, like, at its heart, of course, obviously. And I hate that these international <laughs> games are played, and, like, after I wake up, it's like, what happened in that, you know, yeah. 3.30 in the morning game? You know, and you just find out later. And it, maybe you maybe you catch, like, the end of the fourth quarter. and it's just, Or like, maybe it's you're just a degenerate. Like me, and you wake up and watch it. I watch yeah. every second of every minute of every hour of Kansas City Chiefs football. So it's just, oh, and, yeah. and, and let me tell you, playing, obviously it's Chiefs Kingdom game. does too. It's going to suck, but at least it's not four yeah, this in the morning. This one's 8.30, and that's fine. That's when right around the football <coughs> start. That's, that's, that's when kegs, you wish you weren't watching pregame show. Kegs I can't and watch eggs that show, for a lot man. of people, man. Kegs yeah. and eggs. It so that, that, that's that's one thing I think that they got right about this game. I think it'll be good. I think it's great to have a, finally have a, like a good international game. This is the first good one. It's cool to see those those giant soccer stadiums packed out for football. Yeah. I, I do think that that's a pretty cool part of it. I think Germany is almost like more fitting for a football game than England. I, I can't really mm-hmm. describe why, but it just kind of seems culturally like football kind of makes more sense for Germany, you know, versus England. But you know, both of them are good, and it's very popular there's, in both there's, places. There's, there's a Chiefs ch- Kingdom chapter in Germany. I mean, yeah, it's it, not like it'll be packed out of its mind, obviously. Yeah, there's not like they don't ever watch football. It's just I, I feel like we should keep the product at home, and the NFL is like, no, we're making money. But sending <laughs> Patrick Mahomes over there is huge. I mean, he's, yeah, he is the elder statesman of the league. So the best international game by far. It's not even close ever, ever. And you know, there's going to be fireworks, Chiefs by a touchdown. So right now we got Chiefs at one loss so far. What's next? Bye week. Uh, this is a nice bye week, right in the middle of the season. I mean, it's all I can ask for. Well, yeah. you earned it. You're the champs. Yeah, the schedule last sure. year beat you to beat you down, and you still ran it. So this year, you get that. You know, so bye week. Everyone's rested. Barbecue, family, good. Get your rest like, up. Coming off the bye week, you already know it's fly eagles fly. Wow. So, like it's I be said, a heck of a game. I'm trying to go to this. Me and my buddy Alex, he's a huge Eagles fan. He wants yeah. he wants redemption. He wants his two hundred dollars back from Super Bowls. <laughs> and and I'm here to tell you that this literally all games, including the playoffs included, could be the best game of the year. Easily. Because the Eagles got so much better. And they were mobbing to begin with, you know? And so what what the Chiefs have in their back pocket is eighty thousand people. And they have Andy Reid coming off a bye versus old team. The Eagles are going to be out for blood. And I see this as being the closest game of the year. The big problem I have here is that, you know, that fourth and one, they're going to be pushing Jalen Hurts over the pile. So you're going to have to literally score points with every possession because if it's fourth and anything, they're going for it. You know, this, this is a team that knows for a fact that they let one get away. Now they have Jalen Carter. Now they have Nolan Smith, and they've gone back to the drawing board to figure out how they could have let that one go to make sure it doesn't happen again. I love the Chiefs here, but I love them by a point and a point only, and I would really love it if I could find a way to get to this game. Tickets are about 600 Plane tickets going to be another 600 It's going to be expensive, but literally that atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric, and I think the Kansas City Chiefs continue on. Monday Night Football to shock the world. People it will always – people – it will get to the point here at some point where people will not even believe how Mahomes is human because I'm here to tell you, I think there's another gear to Patrick Mahomes. There's another level to Patrick Mahomes that I don't think we've seen, and I think you can see it this year, and I think this could be a game where you see it. I don't know if it's a behind-the-back pass – I don't know if it's a 50-yard scamper. I don't know what it is, but there's another gear to him. He's built like Jordan, Brady, where like all these guys care about is winning. That's it. You know what I mean? My wife can change the diapers and pay the bill. Like I'm out there trying to win, and I think that he knows this is this is almost a legacy game. It's almost a legacy game in this in his building, and he wins these kind of games. This, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't see a way that the Eagles lose this game. I just yeah, think a lot of people just, don't. I think they just have this circled on the calendar and not for obvious reasons. Yeah. And it could I be the type of thing that by this time, Spencer, that the, the Chiefs could be home dogs. Like right now, going into the season, they're favored in every game. But let's say, for instance, the Eagles are undefeated to this point. I think the Chiefs will have at least one loss to this point. Chiefs will be home dogs. 
And you already know how I feel about home dogs in the NFL. It's disrespectful if you're a Super Bowl champion. Home dogs pay dividends. I mean, flip a coin. Whoever has the ball last to win this game. Yeah, it kind of feels that way. It's kind of how it, it's kind of how it felt on the uh, the Super Bowl Monday Night Football, bro. It's going to be a good night, one. Monday Night Obviously Magic. Obviously, one of the best games of the season. Chiefs still rolling here. One loss. Let's go. Yeah, next week is the Raiders. Play, the Raiders. Uh, you know, go to Allegiant Stadium. Maybe get to check out the Super Bowl Stadium. <laughs> yeah, one, um, you know, <laughs> we're just gonna check the the box here with a W. I mean, look, you know, there's there's a Chiefs fan buried underneath the stadium. You know what I mean? Look, I've been to two out of these, out of three of these games, and the only one I haven't been to was the COVID one where they weren't letting fans in. This is a home game. Allegiant is our head west. I mean, I know the Raiders are trying to get better. I just looked at their their whole roster before we came on. I don't think they necessarily got better. I don't think Jimmy G is – Jimmy G is Derek Carr. It's the same quarterback. You don't have anyone on defense really in the secondary, and that's the biggest problem because the Chiefs are a throwing team. They're going to win this game by at least 10 points. They always do, and I don't think that – people recognize how big Raider week is to Kansas city. You don't lose to the Raiders period. Okay. When we lose to the Raiders, like everyone is sick for a week, it just doesn't happen. And so I'm chalking this one up to a, probably the easiest victory of the year to this point. It's just the Raiders just aren't ready. Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, they had career years. They're a year older. I don't know if they can have career years again. And even if they do, is it enough to stop Patrick Mahomes and the firepower of Kansas City Chiefs, who now, in my estimation, could potentially have a top 15 defense? I just I don't, don't know. see it. I, don't I know. just don't see it, bro. Until <laughs> I see it, I have to see it once. I have to see it somewhere. It's not a rivalry if one team always wins. The Raiders have beaten the Chiefs three times in like the last seven years. I mean, I have to feel this way. I've been to the games. It's nothing but red. Everyone sells their tickets because they know the Chiefs are going to just destroy this team. And I don't see a reason why, based on what's happened in the offseason, why it's not going to happen again. I'll probably find my way into this game again as well. Yeah, I'd like to as well. It's just, I don't know. I just think that they're getting dangerously close to the Chiefs. They're close. Everything. I mean, they're... the last game of the season was like, oh, it's just a throw because the Raiders won. The, no, they're the close the draft, offensively. You know? They're close offensively. But I feel like if you were serious about stopping the Chiefs, you would have taken Christian Gonzalez. He was right there because you have no one in your secondary. And what does Patrick Mahomes like to do? Your your linebackers aren't good. No one can cover Travis Kelsey. Nobody can cover these guys. You can't cover these guys. You can't just play ball control versus Kansas City Chiefs. Look what the Eagles did in the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes was on the sideline, hadn't touched the ball for over 10 minutes. And you still lost the game. So the, you, that doesn't work because they maximize every possession. They get the ball. They score at least three. The Raiders, they don't do that. We'll see. I mean, There I, is I, no I, home I, field. Yeah. yeah. There's no home field. There is no home field to Allegiant. Allegiant is a party city. We go there. You make money and you lose. That's what Allegiant is. Sadly, you're not there yet. So I can't give you this one either. No, no, I'm not going to give it to the Raiders either. I don't think they win this game. Uh, so going on next, Sunday Night Football, Green Bay. feels kind of lame, to be honest with you. I think the Packers are going to be very boo-boo. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the flexibility thing is like. I, it's kind of confusing when they talk about it on the radio. I, I, don't, I can't mm-hmm. seem to hear a coherent answer on whether or not they can flex these games. I don't think anyone understands it fully. This is just a game where I could see the Packers having like five wins at this point. And is that really the game you want to have? Like the Chiefs are going to have this like dominant record. Green Bay is going to have this horrible record, and then they're just going to play on Sunday Night Football. It's like it feels mm-hmm. kind of meaningless. Yeah, well, I'm going to throw a wrench into everybody's breakfast here, and and, and I'm going to give the Chiefs an L here, and I'm going to give the Chiefs mm-hmm. here a, a, a L for a, a lot of different reasons. As a fan of this team for decades and decades and decades and decades, there's one game every single year where this team just absolutely does not show up. For a lot of different reasons, they just play poorly. There might be some kind of injury that happened, as you saw last year with Harrison Butker in Indianapolis. That's a game that there is no way on earth that they should have lost. And what happened? They went and lost that game. This is a road game. This is a game in December. This is a game Sunday night football out in the cold. The elements are going to be against the Chiefs. Not that they're not a cold-weather team. 
You don't know what you're going to be getting out of Jordan Love, but they could play a ball control style game in Green Bay. Everybody has a bad day while the team that they're playing has a good day. And this literally has the look of a classic trap game where everyone is just like, yep, this is going to be a W for Kansas City. And I'm here to tell you, I have watched the NFL long enough to know that nothing is a given here. They run the ball really, really well in Green Bay. They have a really, really good coach. They're going to be looking to prove to the world that they are a better team with Aaron Rodgers and without him. They're not just a one-man team, and they're going to play hard, man. And I could see a world where the Chiefs lose this game by three points. So that's going to be an L for me. That's crazy. I'm not going chalk here. I'm going to – the Chiefs are going to lose some games – they're gonna lose some games, dude. They do every year. The best every team, team does, yeah. The every team. best team and the best teams lose games that there is just no rhyme or reason to how how did we like how did the Chiefs lose to the Colts last year with Matt Ryan a stiff <laughs> yeah. but Andy Reid fake punt Harrison Bucker gets hurt couple Fumbles. drop balls by yeah. Kelsey it happens. And so I know you guys from Chiefs Kingdom who are watching this right now, like, dude, you're out of your mind. I'm here to tell you guys, you're out of your mind (laughs) if you don't think that this is a potential loss. I'm not saying it will be, but I don't think the Chiefs are going to It is Lambeau. It's frozen out there, too. It's just I have been to Lambeau Field twice. I'm here to tell you these people eat, sleep, (laughs) and live football. They are not going to roll over for Kansas City. This will not be an easy game. And so there's always that one game where I think they just blow it. This is it for me. The Packers are a weird team, man. The Packers are a very weird team. Remember when everybody was like the Cowboys are going to run over the Packers? And what happened? The Packers won that game. They still got Christian Watson. Jordan Love will be decent. They've got good running backs. He's terrible. A.J. Dillon is a stud. They just got Musgrave. They will not be as bad as people think. Even if they win six games bad teams play their super bowls versus good teams and that's their season and i could see that happening here yeah next week go to the bills and wow this is a lot of good games on the on the the Chiefs schedule this year a lot of great is this not a prime time game that's kind of that is shocking for sure it's yeah uh, yeah it is a game yep it's really shocking because these two teams have a lot of history i do think that they'll overlook Green Bay, which is another reason why they'll lose that game, but I think that they'll right the ship here. I just don't think that the Bills are as good as everybody thinks they are. I think the Bills team that lost to the Chiefs with 13 seconds left, that was the team of destiny that should have gone to the Super Bowl and won it because if they go to the Super Bowl, they were winning it. They were winning it, and they blew it. And so after what I saw Joe Shiesty and the Bengals do to them in their own building, I've lost a lot of faith in, in the Buffalo Bills. And I didn't really love their draft. I mean, I know Dalton Kincaid is good, but, like, you need people to get Patrick Mahomes on the ground. You're not going to outscore Kansas City, folks. You're not. And this is going to be a game where everyone's going to take the Bills. And I'm here to tell you that Mahomes takes notes, man. You don't think these rivalries between him and Joe Shiesty, him and Josh Allen, him and Lamar Allen, Lamar Jackson, you know what I mean? Like him and Justin Herbert, these guys go play golf, have beers. You don't think – it's like what Jordan was doing. He loves having the upper hand on all these guys. Yeah, yeah. He does. And right now, Mahomes is king. And I think they win this game. I think they bounce back in a big way. A lot of people will not take them here. I'm taking them to win this game. This is this is great, and I, I kind of agree with you in that <coughs> it feels like it's slipping for the Bills, and I, I can't really de- – well, I can describe it. I mean, it's just like, that, that loss they had against the Bengals just kind of shifts your – Sean McDermott's idea. job is on the line, Bills oh, Mafia. Yeah. I don't care if you're getting a new stadium. With the team that you have now, you should have won a Super Bowl already. You should have won a Super Bowl already. And it gets harder and harder as the year goes on because guys get older, guys – you know, the, the, the young AFC guys who step up required you, you to spend money is on them. a gauntlet of great quarterbacks. Gauntlet. You need defense to stop these guys or you have to be able to score at will. I didn't see either of those things in their own building with the elements on their side. They got rolled. Rolled. Yeah. 
let's uh, yeah it'll be a good game uh i guess i guess we'll have to wait and see on that one but i'll, I'll give the chiefs the victory there. defense is gonna win that game for the chiefs watch yeah i just don't think the bills have enough of it pick it six fumble recovery something unexpected that you wouldn't think from the look at the super bowl yeah for sure scoop and score everyone's like the Chiefs scoop and score what like watch the Chiefs have these kind of players. They're opportunistic. Josh Allen makes mistakes all the time. He does. Yeah. He he's he's got a big year ahead of him. Josh, Josh Allen. At, sure. Josh Allen right now is very he's dangerously falling into Daniel <laughs> Jones 2.0 area, man. I'm telling you, he needs to get the Bills need to have a really good start here, or else fans are gonna start wondering, like, is he the guy? Yeah. Uh, next we go to, to New England, Monday Night Football. I don't know. I, you can't chalk a, a victory against, you know, Bill Belichick, I think, any week. But no, I, I, I've been pretty shocked. I mean, it, it is in, in uh, you know, in New England. That mm-hmm. certainly helps. I, I don't know. This, this, is a, this is a weird one. I, I hate judging games against Bill Belichick. Chiefs have done well there since Tom Brady left. They win there, you know, even as, as long ago as when, you know, they opened with Alex Smith and Kareem Hunt. They, they, they win there. I just don't think that Mac Jones can score enough points. Again, yeah. they have a top-tier defense. But, I mean, look at Patrick Mahomes versus top defenses. He plays some of his best football. This is not a game that I can give the Patriots under any circumstances unless there's major injuries on the Chiefs' side of the ball. I think the Chiefs win this game at least 7 to 10 points. Under the lights, Patrick Mahomes is as good as any quarterback that's ever played the game. Monday night football, Thursday night football, yeah. Sunday night football, postseason, it's Saturday, it don't. If the game is being watched as the only game of the year, go look at that boy's numbers. It's insane. Yeah, I think the the formula to beat the Chiefs uh, is is not ball control. It's you have to have a dominant defensive front. And that was kind of the formula for Tom Brady, too. It's obviously mm-hmm. way easier. Said Look what the done. Giants did to him. You have to get around him. You have to breathe on him. You got to get balls. You got to, like, just tap tip balls. Just, yeah. you know, just get footsteps around. That's how the Giants beat Brady. That's how you beat Mahomes. That's how you beat any quarterback. You, if, you can't yeah. get, if you can't get near him, you cannot win. He's yeah, just I mean, too good. The, the Buccaneers uh, Super Bowl with the Chiefs obviously is the most telling because that that Buccaneers roster, all it was good, it wasn't better than Kansas City's that year. Nope, but they just because, had a better D front. Yeah, and let's be honest. Let's be honest. I went back and looked at that game for the first time since it happened a couple weeks ago. Patrick Mahomes threw so many balls that were dropped in that game. Yeah, for sure. Patrick Mahomes had one of the best games of his life physically in that game, and his teammates just let him down. That game is one of the reasons why Tyreek Hill is gone. The guy drops more balls than anyone. Travis Kelsey dropped like three balls. Tyreek dropped like three balls. I mean, balls that are right on the money. There was one where Patrick Mahomes was completely airborne and throws it. That's the best throw I've ever seen this guy make. Right in the hands, in the end zone, and they dropped it. Like, you catch two of those balls, and the Chiefs are in that game with a decimated offensive line. That's how good Kansas City is. If they don't make me, you need them to make mistakes here. And in order for the the Patriots to have a shot at winning this game, the Chiefs are going to have to turn the ball over at least twice. Mac yeah, Jones. Matthew Judon would have to play the game of his Mac life. Jones sucks. I'm sorry. Next. Yeah, this is his last year. I think you go to the Raiders. Garbage. Um, you know, you're at home. I don't see anything too crazy. He's terrible, to bro. Much about this he game, stinks. So. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Um, you know, week 16 coming towards the end of the season, uh, you know, the Raiders probably gets them ready for week 17 and 18. Just, you know, you're at home. The Raiders won't be playing for anything, I think, at this point. So Merry Christmas, Chiefs fans. Next. Yeah, because yeah, because the Raiders just they, they they're going in the right direction. I think they they're going really in the right draft. direction, but they, they could also have think, four. They're, they're going to have, you know, one more season, I think, of whatever last season was. Mm-hmm. And I think they're not going to fire anybody. I, I don't know. No, 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 no. No. This is a five-year plan from this, this team. This is a plan, and yeah. For the they're, first they're time, every the problem with the Raiders for so long was that they were just trying to patch things up every season. It's just not how you build a football team. No, you know, this is do. this is trust the process now for the Raiders. I they will get tell one you more top ten pick next year, and then suddenly you gotta the, get the you gotta get some cornerbacks. Just, you gotta get yeah. some cornerbacks. But I will tell you this, man. This is the type of game where like everyone's feeling good and hot yeah. butted rum and eggnog, and the Chiefs are going to destroy them. And I could see the Chiefs winning this game by one point. 
The Raiders yeah. just play the Chiefs tough. I mean, it's if you an go AFC back, West matchup. It's it's AFC tough. West is a dogfight every week. If you go back and look at when the Raiders played the Chiefs in Arrowhead last season, the, the, dude, the Raiders gave that game away. When Devontae Adams pushed the, the photographer, they yeah. gave that game away, man. The Chiefs should. The Chiefs didn't win the game. Okay, Raiders lost the game. I could see something similar happening here. I mean, again, you're not going to play your best football every single week. The grind is intense. Guys get hurt. It's a long season. Travel. Sometimes your C game will win you games. But, again, you know that the Raiders will go out of their way to spoil anything the Chiefs have on tap. I could see a very close win. Again, guys, I'm telling you, man, I've been watching this team for a long, long time. Take the points. AFC yeah. West. Yeah, the points. this will be like a 10, 13 point spread by the time. Chiefs win, man, around. but they do not cover. Very rarely. Next. Yeah. The, yeah, a couple of games here at the end of the season. Just uh, This is a home game, but it, man, I don't know. Cincinnati doesn't seem to care, you know, too much. I mean, obviously the last game was, was really close and really good, yeah. but – this, this is the fact that it's a home game. I don't think automatically gives the Chiefs a victory here because not at all. Done it before. Not at all. And I'm going to tell you that to me that this is the most important game on our schedule, right here, for a couple different reasons. Yes, we squeaked by and got that W last year in the playoffs when it counted. I think it's going to be very similar here. I think seeding at this point will matter. Um, guys may or may not be resting. Guys, I mean, there'll still be one more game after this. But, again, the whole Mahomes versus the the pack, okay? I would much rather have that home game in the playoffs. It, it's everything, and I think the Chiefs know that, and I think they'll find a way to win this game again. Look, I know the Bengals are a very good team, and I know they played the Chiefs well, but if you go back and look at the last four games that they have played where we're one and three, the Chiefs have played poorly in all three losses They've turned the ball over. They've thrown inopportune picks. There's been calls that have gone against us that were kind of weak. The only one that I'm really willing to concede we got our asses handed to us was when Jamar Chase went for 5,000 yards. Mm -hmm. That was it. Every other one was like, I mean, they lose to the Bengals the same way every single time. 23-20, 24-21 is always one mistake and then a game-winning field goal that wins. And that went our way this time. And I think it will go our way again here in the you know the end of the season with the playoffs looming and the Chiefs know they got to have home field. The Chiefs have had five straight AFC championship games in their building and they've had home field throughout. Patrick Mahomes doesn't know what it's like to start a, a playoff game on the road. And that's not going to change this year. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen and the Chiefs going to win another game at home. I'm telling you they're going undefeated at home this year. You heard it here first. Yes, they'll beat the Eagles. Yes, they'll beat the Bengals. Yeah, I don't know. I, this game has potential to be the actual game of the year, depending on seeding. You know, if these guys are both competing for the first seed. Chiefs got be better. better. Bengals did not. Bang, Bengals yeah. lost a lot of guys. They didn't get better. They got Orlando Brown from us. They can have him. Yeah, can have for him. sure. That guy we'll got see. I mean, they, they kind of had some disappointing uh, a disappointment when they had picked up, I forget the guy's name, on the offensive line. He made a big deal about going there, and he wasn't so great. Maybe he gets better, you know, this year, and then – We'll see if Orlando Brown. I mean, that's that's the, <laughs> the, the Bengals have lost essentially every important game is because Joe Burrow got sacked a good gajillion times. So and what do they the Chiefs that. do? We'll see. The Chiefs go after the quarterback. Let the Chiefs get up seven points in the fourth quarter. It's yeah. it's it's a hunting. We will go. A Menahue, Felix. You got FAB out, dude. Nothing else needs to be said if you're a Chief fan. You already know what's going to happen. Next. Yeah, yeah. this is it. This is the end of the season. This is against uh, an away game for the Chargers, which I don't this know. Is, you this, never is, know. this is an L for me. This is an I'd L. Be, yeah, I'd be so shocked if the Chargers weren't, like, close to winning the yeah. AFC West this year. They got significantly yeah. better. They got guys coming back from injury. They, they are tired of losing to Patrick Mahomes in their building. Yeah. This is going to be Patrick Mahomes' first loss on the road in the AFC West right the here. Yeah, the Chiefs are going to be resting players. The seating is set. There's nothing to play for. The Chargers will not be going to the Super Bowl or the playoffs probably. And so they're going to play hard in their building. This is the type of game where, I mean, Keenan Allen's last stand, Austin Eckler's last stand. The defense is really good. They still got good players. Bosa, J.C. Jackson, 
They're going to play hard versus they always, out of any other AFC West team, the Chargers always play the Chiefs tough. They are tired of seeing Travis Kelsey go H-A-M, I'm telling you. Derwin James is tired of it. They're tired of it. They're tired of walk-off wins versus Kansas City, and the Chiefs will probably have nothing to play for here. They'll have it wrapped up more than likely here. And so you're going to rest some guys. You're going to see the scrubs in the second half. The Chiefs are going to lose this game. This is an easy L for me. Yeah, I'll take that too. I'll say the Chargers need this game for like positioning, you know, who they want to play in the playoffs. And Chargers will have an outside out. shot to get in. The Chiefs are going to have it all sewn up next. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Like that's what yeah. it's going to look like. That's what my that's what my crystal ball is telling me. I could easily see a world where that happens. So that's yeah. the schedule. That's it. 14 and 3. I don't think that's unrealistic. I yeah, really don't. I see about three losses. I think some of the losses, you know, could be wins, and then some of the wins we said could be losses. Yeah. Obviously, right? Three, three to four losses is is more than you know significant for a team like Kansas City. Kansas City could lose five, six games and still win the Super Bowl, but yeah. you want because they're the type of team that can go on the road in the playoffs and still win. But they kind of like the formula that they've had: win enough, get home field, get these games in your building, and then it's over. Because you already know Allegiant Stadium is just a home game. If they make it to the Super Bowl in Allegiant Stadium, they're winning that game. The Chiefs are going to go undefeated in that stadium for quite a while, folks. You heard it here first. World of Matchups, Blue Milk Boys Gaming, Dexter Reed, Spencer the Wiz. That is our spit for the 2023 Kansas City Chiefs. You guys enjoy the season.